Good morning, YouTube, and happy Thanksgiving 2022. So what we're doing today, since it's Thanksgiving and I had some extra time since I'm off of work, I decided to go back and repolish this or la last Sunday's project. So this is the Goonies project. I did this last year, and these are little pieces from a Goonies movie party that uh, I attended at Alamo Draft House. So this is like some fake jewels and a penny that they gave you you know goonies never say die kind of thing and the resin just didn't set up the way that i wanted it to and jen jewel who uh commented on this video said you know it would be cool to go back and repolish it to you know give it a better aesthetic because i had mentioned that in that video during that project so since i had some time the project's mostly done decided to go back and repolish it so what we're doing here is taking some scrap wood and just making a base for it so that we can attach it into the chuck jaws and it's been a while since i've just done purely wood projects so this went fairly easy no problems here just working it with the chisels round carbide tool in the in the bowl gouge uh, coming back and just making this small little base that we can attach the actual uh, project onto. So this went, like I said, relatively smooth, getting everything done. Brand new edger, by the way. It, you guys are going to see a project next year that I did uh, that I totally messed up. But that edger, man, I should have gotten that thing like two years ago. Uh, or the parting tool, that's what it's called. Excuse me, sorry. So basically, once I got the base set up the way that I wanted to, now I'm just coming back and, you know, re, re, resizing it to the way that I want. So this didn't take any, you know, time at all. This actually has very little to do with the actual polishing portion. I just wanted to add something to it because you saw the base and it looked a little rough. Admittingly, when I did that Goonies project last year, and if you go back to Sunday's video, it looks rough. So I should have took a lot more time with it, but you know, time was you know scarce, so I didn't have the ability to do that. But we're just coming back, taking some 15-minute uh, JB weld, gonna attach you know this base portion to it so that we have an attachment point and we can resand it and all that good stuff here. So a couple of hours later, now all we're doing is starting the polishing process. However, I realized, hey, before you polish. You need to work down the material of the actual base portion here because you can see where the uh, epoxy meets the actual wood. There's some, you know, that JB welds there. So we had to work that down. A lot of detail work toward this portion of it and just getting everything, you know, edged out the way we want to. Should have known that from the get-go, but I ended up not doing that. So once I got that work down to the portion that I wanted to, then we come back and hitting it with... Uh, the sandpaper so going from 340 to 1500 all the way up to uh, you know the micro mesh all the way up to 1500 so more sanding and I don't want to bore you with the sanding this is just a quick down and dirty little you know redo project for me so you know something to watch on Thanksgiving if you got a little bit of extra time so 340 all the way to 1500 hit it with the micro mesh and now we're just polishing it up and admittingly it looks a lot better than it initially did when we did this project uh, last year. So really, if you're gonna work with epoxy, you need to sand it down really well, and I just failed to do that during the last project. It, as you saw from the beginning, it just looked absolutely horrendous. But, uh, you know, I didn't wanna bore you with the actual sanding portion of the project. It was really quick, so obviously a lot of lead up to this point. Again, shout out to Jen for leaving a comment. Uh, about repolishing so we had the time and just went ahead and repolished it and it looks so much better go back and watch last week's video and compare the two looks absolutely stunning sanding and taking your time definitely helps with these projects so you can definitely see the jewels and the penny a lot better uh, after the second redo and the second repolish so gotta gotta be more mindful of that when I'm working on these projects in the future so gonna go ahead and take the parting tool and getting those two separated coming back and then just re or detaching from the main base on the headstock so hope you guys liked it hope everybody's having a good Thanksgiving like I said uh, did this literally this morning did this project took about between start to finish a couple of hours but overall really happy the way it turned out Hope everybody's having a good holiday, and here we are, done, finished, and complete. Looks way better than when we did it last year. So 
Hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, peace. All right, so the repolish project is finished, and here we are. Looks a lot clearer, got a lot of the scratches out of it. Made this like little base that we attached it to. You guys saw that in the whole project. So this morning, it's actually 6 a.m. here in the state of Texas. Uh, it's Thanksgiving, so today is Thursday, uh, November 24th, 2022. So uh, this was suggested by Jen Jewell, uh, who commented uh, about the polishing because if you, you guys saw what it looked like before, but came back, redid a, a second polish on it, and you can totally tell the difference now. Really looks a lot better. I hate sanding, but man, that's really where you get to make like resin really pop. So looks a lot better still. We could have done a better job. Next one will obviously be better. So hope everybody has a, thanks, a good Thanksgiving and uh, just a simple project while you'll uh, you know, wait to eat turkey. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy Thanksgiving. See you in the next one. Peace. Bye. Bye.